much since she time for more time to do the new archon quest but actually it's time awesome stuff i'm a little tired just a little bit just a little little bit So, I might need to clear out some trash artifacts from the inventory. Maybe. Who knows, really. Hmm. The Troubled Hunter. Could always go to the Adventurer's Guild, actually, given that... No, given that I'm already going to be going there for the quest. Hmm. Just trying to think. Some of this, some of that. A barrel pass period, I gotta... How about some stuff up? Probably for Chaska or something. We'll figure that out. Okay. Hmm. Alright, alright. Hmm. Also got vent type stuff. Just figure out today's. Oh, right, we got expeditions to send to Okay. Claim all of those. Let's go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. So the question is, I think I do want to fight the... Oh, the Iniquitous Baptist a few times, actually. Right now it's, that's Ice, Electro, and... Mm, I guess the team I've got right now could work for that, kind of. Gonna be a bit annoying though. Hmm. What's in there? Not a great way to get there, but the big thing is that one of the imaginary theater lineups this month is going to require Kirara and That's for 90 more days. Okay, for require Kirara Dory and Reva. So I'm trying to get a few items, boss drops, in order to actually level them eventually. I just want to see how well I can handle all these shields with the characters I currently have. Hmm. Also, I forget whether the Baptist takes damage at all with the shield even up. Because that would determine whether deal would even work on it, I think. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Either way, we can break all these shields with, I mean, all of the nodes. Oh. What we currently have. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, put your rings down, and there we go. Get that. Now you, and come on. Right over here. Well, I, oh goodness. Okay, I, I legitimately, uh, we got the wrong thing. I, uh, can't actually walk onto that. That's actually infuriating. Damn. Well, whatever. I'll just run away. And wait for it to respawn that because not being able to hit accurately was annoying. Mm. I, you can still hit me over there. That was ridiculous. Okay. Alright. No healing right now either. Okay then. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm. Let's get this going, and now we gotta find a way to make sure that we can shoot this, and there we are, we can hit. There we go, nice actually. Let's see what Milani can do here. Alright. It's not bad. Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on. This is just generally a very annoying boss to fight. I... Come on. Break all the shields. And come on. That kind of worked. Kind of. And that... Mm, well, that actually did it too. Kind of. And we'll... Yeah, I can break that shield, which is nice. This is okay. Is this on okay? Oh, we missed again. Hit this. It's not in a position to really be fighting like this. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Come on, come on. Yes. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that does not work at all. It's not even block damage. I. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. No. Go ahead. Look at yourself. It's decent, I suppose. But yeah, given all the elemental application of slow damage windows, this is one of the harder bosses to fight on. Alright, we'll level this frankly. I like how we can heal ourselves a bit. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright. I just need how many more for Kirara? I think. She's at 50 right now. You need 70 for a. I think 12 in total should be fine. Let me just check how many more I need to get her to 70. Would also make the shield better since it is basically just based on the HP. Four and then, yeah, I need 12 to get her there. Mm, okay. One more boof 8, too. It's not nothing. Every single time. Let's try a different approach just to be funny. Okay. Then, go up here. It's not bad. Hmm. I kind of wonder how well her geo attacks would break the, break the tree around. Oh, goodness. One, zero, three, four, five. Not very well. Oh. Actually, surprised me. By the way, it should be back. Yep, you're back. Cool. Hmm. Well, all right. Make this work. I think, honestly, probably try to and the Jew and the Jew in it as well. And try to Milani take things out, probably. Okay, and one, two. Then we'll have Kimich shoot that over there. Well, probably I could. Break it like this and okay, nice. Cool. Uh, that's it. That's good damage, but you're coming back up and I don't like that. Uh, uh, annoying. Rather annoying. Okay. Come on, and that'll work. I'm gonna wait for this to break down and hit. Hit, hit, hit. Nice. Right and hit. Hit over there and let's finish the app and oh my goodness. That's got some serious weaknesses. Cool. Two, three, five. That wasn't actually all that bad. Oh well. Yeah, running out of space in the inventory. Time to feed Hazel. I honestly wonder. Might end up giving this set to Chaska when she comes out or something. Cause she definitely wants she probably wants to be iridescent. She might want Cinder City. I really don't know. And Yeah, just one more run. We'll have enough for where Kirara needs to be eventually. That that's not very good. Quite frankly. I I don't know. ER ERM. I have a decent amount of EM pieces at this point. Okay. What's this? Hello, hello. Are you alive? Maybe. Is that a yes? Either way. Oh, right. We should give you the Goldrick Gorge. White Valley, Shilinan's outfit, your usual getup, which consists of a brilliant golden coat. Pair with short, no nonsense inner garments when she's working. Shilinan normally takes off her coat before getting down to business. When she puts it back on, you can be fairly certain she's about to take a break. Give you the golden wings, right? The geo wings. Actually, forgot about that. Okay, and go ahead. Roar escape plunge. Cool. And we're just going in to take out the iniquitous Baptist another time for enough materials for Kirara. Hello, how are you doing? I'm just killing the iniquitous Baptist one more time because Kirara needs it. For theater this month, well, next month, is going to have Wewa, Dori, and Kirara as, oh, bonus characters. And I don't have any of them at 70, which is the minimum level for participation, so I just got to get that going. How are you? 
Let's go in for that burst step, and that was probably a bit too fast. Oh well. I got, that's not the right side. Okay, get that in. We gotta uh, try to break this. Teenage and before that goes, we'll go like this. This is a really crazy boss to fight on higher world levels just because of how short the damage windows are. It's pretty tough. It's among the tougher ones, honestly. And hit, and we got that out of the way. So now, break this with some of the way of the shield. Use the blunt attacks, which is nice. Cool, cool, and one, two, and then he needs to get this final shield down in the meantime as well. Okay, cool, we'll just keep on shooting, and there we go. Shoot, and alright, now Moana can finish this out. Two, three, fight, and one more, or not, I, this is troublesome. Oh, come on. Well, that kind of worked. Come on, come on, I, oh goodness, I, oh, you're kidding, you're kidding. Okay. I thought I did. I can do it again, though. And one, two, three, right before... It. There we go, right before the shield came. Oh, nice! Okay, I'll check... Oh, I was in check again. Yeah, I'll do that. Give me a sec, collect these. So get one more... Blue Fate for Kirara, so we'll check that. Let me see... Right over there... And... Okay, okay. Let's check, and now... Oh, now you... Oh, that's with extra crit rate, too. Oh, my goodness. That... That's crazy crazy. Yeah, I told you, you could get it to basically 200 crit damage. The crit damage circuit, and oh, my goodness. Did you use an artifact juice for that? Because that's really, really good. Oh, my goodness. That... I don't know if you'll ever need to roll for anyone ever again. But, by the way, this is Dom's. He actually logged in 31 days ago. That's kind of surprising. Huh. He used to be a big Kaza guy. He used to be. What is he? Still has... Yeah, that... That's really, really nice. Not that much energy recharge. He didn't really know how to play the game. He really liked Zhao, actually. He farmed for a set for Zhao when Zhao's unique artifacts that came out, and then he basically quit. It was kind of funny. Okay, so actually, I can ascend Kirara one more time. I'm gonna feed her much more, but let me see. Yep. So many Spectre mats needed. I hate Spectre so much. Okay. Sorry. So we can just toss this blue fade at standard banner real quick, and then it's a couple of dailies, and then I actually start the Archon quest and get to see Capitano be cool. Also Mavuika. But also Capitano. He's the one I'm worried about being playable or not. So this is going to be 58. Standard. It'd be really funny if we got a C2D or something here. Make it happen. Science. Well, we got something purple. Alright. And that's... Oh, Yao Yao Khan! Okay, that's actually nice. Because I don't have her cons. That said, it's not like I really use Yao Yao all that much. But Oh, there we go. And that's... The EM boost, which really, I think that would only be any good for balloon teams, but that's not bad. And 0.3 of max HP, so it's going to be 300 times 36. She's got 36,000 HP. That's, yeah, she's got enough to get that elemental mastery buff, but it's not doing much for her, honestly. Yao Yao is size decidedly okay. I find it really funny that for some reason, banner-wise, she's tied to Alhytham. Which is just a really amusing choice. Especially since they don't work all that well together. It's just, if you want Alhytham to have a Dendro sub DPS, you just run Nahida. Because he benefits so much from Nahida's burst field too. It's just, okay, okay, yo, -yo fans. Okay. Still only a couple more for... C6 after Well to be fair for Lantern right last year I'm pretty sure I actually got a Yayo Con. So I had a few Gaming Cons, but still it's nice to get a few more that way I suppose. Okay, and right over there and who's oh my goodness. That's a no. Okay, well, 
put you in before that burning stops. And... Okay, aiming this is a little annoying sometimes, and I can... Well, we had to use that on you. That's a shame. Come on, and... Yep, aim for those bites. Nice and right. Thank you. The burning grass actually helps out a lot, which is funny. And I... Oh, we didn't get as many stacked as I expected. I... It's fun. Okay, we got the mining in. That's 11 on the battle pass. The artifact missions that give you artifact juices are really nice. But it's so many things. They've changed a lot of things over time to basically shift the sort of calculus people do from being, okay, roll for one character in their constellations and weapons and weapon refinements and make them really, really good to just you know roll for a lot of characters. And theater is a big thing there, but... To get that artifact mission, which also rewards Prima Gems, you know, you need to be making more artifact sets, which, if you're not rolling for new characters, you don't really need to do. And so how many, if any, of those were from the artifact printer? Because that's all, that's all really good. It, and was that the goblet? Was that the circlet or the goblet? Either way, that's a truly ridiculous truly ridiculous key mage, and I mean that in the best way possible. I am happy for you. Okay, and let's just keep on running. And it's fun to do this with Shilin instead of Kachina. Because I usually do this with Kachina. Well, I did before I had Shilin in. And just the fact that she can actually run is nice. She's got an actual sprint for her movement mode, and Kachina does not. Okay, okay. I thought as much because I saw last night when I checked at your behest, it was just that the circle was still attack. Also, also, for our favorite Italian, I got the name card for getting all of the achievements for the local legends, including the Night Soul Totem ones. They got pretty crazy. The two I did yesterday were the Dendro Wild Manifestation and the Dendro... The Yunkasaurus Warrior. They were actually ridiculous. Legitimately. I thought they'd be kind of easy. But the hardest one for the Wild Manifestation was just no hits. You don't take any hits. Which, even if you have a shield and you get hit, it's, you still don't get it. It's not about not taking any damage. It's about not taking any hits. And the only way to really guarantee that was using a Permafreeze team. And, you know, of course, the obvious way to do that is Ayaka. I don't have Ayaka. So I ran a really scuffed Rathesley Permafreeze team with Furina, and it worked okay. But it was very much, okay, these are the lengths I need to go to to make this work. And then there was one over here, the Yunkasaurus Warrior, who does some grappling. Sort of got to destroy her grapple points to fight her. One thing that made it really annoying is that one of the achievement descriptions is literally translated incorrectly. Yeah, other people are working on, they're doing home improvement. That's what's going on here. Okay, and let's... Take you all out. Thank you. Well, let's get through this one. And you barely survived. You should not have survived. Go ahead and die. Okay. Also, I do wonder what kind of Milani team I'd like to run using Shionen now. Because Shionen's a great upgrade for Milani in a number of ways. Can actually run Kaza with. One of the few teams you can really run Kaza and Shionen together on for her is actually... Shionen and Kaza would be a Milani team. I saw earlier today there was a team that was Kaza, Shionen, Milani, and Zhongling. I wouldn't be using Zhongling. And the main thing is that you actually have Kaza use a single E but no burst to swirl Hydro, and then you bring him back on later to swirl and burst Pyro to help with the Pyro application, which is really cool, and I didn't even think about that. What do you what do you mean by an Italian dating show? That sounds vaguely euphemistic. Oh, nice! Using Kinich. Meet again. Let me a hand just like last time. Only embolden. Nagmon needs more care. Let's go teach them a lesson. Problem: those unrepentant treasure hoarders have set up a new camp. I marked it out. Pay based on adventurer's gold rules. Let's get going, shall we? Come a lesson. Well, it's a start. You got to start somewhere. There's. When I started out. I used a Tartaglia, uh, Raiden, Zhongling, Bennett team, I think. And I 
don't think I got any stars. It was just trying to get through. You, uh, with time, you will get better and better. Time to teach him a lesson. What if I wait here? Can I gossip or something? You again, I told you before, we just want to pet that while the sword. Right, we can wait. Now, if you really think I can't see the rope in your hand. Come on, bro, we brought this from your trunk. It's for bungee jumping. So if we just wait and don't actually attack them. Stop hitting me, please. I'm going, I'm going. So what if... Oh, well, that's not an option. Can we break these boxes? Can we break these boxes? Can't break those boxes. Huh. So I wonder what would happen. Can I just wait this out? Because since I keep getting this achievement, I imagine that there's... I mean, this commission. I imagine there's an achievement in here somewhere. Well... Wonder, maybe you just have to do it a number of times. That's very possible. Okay, well, alright. Got our source samples. Don't have to actually get any elemental application to make that work. And... Yeah, it's simple enough. Okay. Anything new? Let's see see them dare to hurt my little Yimpa source ever again. Hey, okay, so since we waited for all the dialogue, it's really easy to miss that by just killing them too fast. It's like there's been some sort of misunderstanding. Well, that's the thing, is that it's totally random. Meaning that it's it's got to be in one of the remaining chests. The way I like to do exploration is I like to sort of segment. I'll show you in a minute. Don't listen to their pretty words. Why sell them to tie a rope to the poor Yimka source's wings with my own eyes? See, this is what might have happened if I hadn't shown up when I had. It's written in any case. Here's your payment. It's just if that's so fast. We caught them. But an end to their trouble making once and for all. And, well, if there was an achievement, we didn't get it this time. Main thing is, all these markers, as haphazard as they look, I'm marking off the edges of each playable area by activating the Statue of the Seven one at a time and then sort of outlining each outlined portion. So as you can see, we've got Quadipec outlined here. It's kind of hard to see, especially since it's so condensed that there are a lot of markers everywhere. But that's how I can more adequately check sort of where there are going to be chests and objectives to get to 100%. It's not as precise a process as I might like, but and then there's Toyak over here, which is the lowest exploration percentage. And then when I actually do exploration, I like to stick to sort of identifiable areas like one of the mountains or one of the islands and clear it out entirely before moving on to the next. It's still not the easiest thing ever, but being systematic, and it also obviates a lot of the need for the treasure compass if you just keep track of where you've been and do things in a sort of systematic kind of sweep. But it's, it's subjective. It's subjective. There's no right way to do it, I suppose. Well, no wrong. Just as long as you accomplish your personal goals, I suppose. But in terms of accomplishing goals, there are, I suppose, better and worse ways of doing that. Okay. So I guess it's time to actually start the new Archon quest. I dallied too long beating up bosses for fun and... All names are noble. Go to the Adventurer's Guild. Your adventures are now and continue after a brief spell news comes through the guild at the same time. Normally, it starts off saying wait two days and it basically says you've been in not one for a while, but I waited two days already, so that isn't showing. Beyond the smoke and mirrors. Ah, uh, okay. What's very interesting is that basically smoke and mirror or smoking mirror or Smoky Mirror is basically, in a literal sense, of the Aztec name for obsidian, the material. Which it is interesting how important obsidian has been for all the quests in here as a result. Also, I think I'll keep Kachina out. Because having Kinesha in the party is. Well, having D in the party with Black Pyro is going to be good for basically everyone here. Okay, for Milani and for Kinich, I can just swap back between them, I think. See what happens. Otherwise, let's actually start this. It's been two days where I was supposed to do this, and I didn't. I see, thank you so much. The Adventurer's Guild has been overwhelmed these days. Yeah, and Paimon says something mentioning abyss-related commissions. 
Piltzin. And where is it all? We've always valued the strength of adventure, so he's people of the strings. Given the current situation, it's vital that we all work together. So we're facing the same enemies. I'll send you the intel we collected on the abyss so far. That's fair. Her buffs go. On what team? Kinich team? So who would you be using Bennett for then? Facing the same enemies, I'll send send you the intel I've collected on the abyss so far. Let me take a look at how to coordinate our efforts. Alright, thank you so much. It is interesting that it's been obvious for a while that Catherine is sort of a Fatui creation through Sandrone. But mentioning the Adventurers Guild as being somewhat abyss associated, sort of anti abyss. It's interesting in that context, too. Fair enough. Your float, Bennett. Like I said, the team I run for Kinich is Emily, Kinich, Bennett, and Emily. Hi, Catherine, it's us. Might have said Bennett twice. India, it's us. Got new commissions. Uh, you two have come just on time. Got some good news. The Power Orc has finished assembling your forces, stationing them all across the Nautilus. Given how the Abyss has ramped up its activities lately, we can no longer afford to act only after receiving news of an invasion. So the Power Orc, Angie and Samar, the Fire God, basically. Power Archon suggested the Scions of the Canopy, Adventurers Guild, because the Scions are also very Abyss, very Adventurers Guild associated. Quite disseminating intel, that way we can stay informed of everything that's happening across the land. Let's receive word of enemy activity, we can notify the nearest camp, and the station forces can take immediate action. But I'll wait to a faster response time. It's precisely, it should also allow us to focus on gathering information rather than running around trying to tackle everything at once. So please also take a chance to relax you too, you've been working hard these days, and this will be a good opportunity for some well deserved rest. So that's the plan, if we can finally stop and take a break. The threat of the abyss is still far from over, but the less work we take, the less we'll earn. Hmm. Oops, I don't imagine. Actually, true. Pama knows that, it's not like Pama just went away here and do nothing. Yeah, the movements to the abyss are always unpredictable, there have also been times where it suddenly became more active in the past. People here generally see it as something like an acute natural disaster. So disaster is over, everyone will return to their normal lives, we just all hope that day will be sooner than later. Well, right, most people have no idea just how bad the situation has gotten in the Night Kingdom. Also, I hope the Day of Peace will come soon. Last time, when we went to the Night Kingdom before, there were a bunch of purple rocks like there were in the chasm, the area around that upside down city. Is that Traveler and Paimon? Hello, hello. Hey, Kachina, are you feeling better now? Yeah, because she died. Uh, yeah, that wasn't really the time to stay at home and recover anyway. I wanted to do something to help. I heard that the Pyro Archon has gotten worse so to be stationed in more remote areas, so I came here to set up. Press up Gachina, don't push yourself too hard. Mm -hmm, I'll do my best and also make sure to stay out of your way. Oops. The last thing I want is to add to your work. And by the way, she went and told me she was ordered to forge you an ancient name. Shironen Onesan. She said that she's all set and we can head over whenever we're ready. Now so we'll finally get to meet Shironen, the legend for you, the forge of ancient names, Kome. Just means old name, basically. Paimon still can't believe anyone could forge those things. Eh, she went in as a true master. Not only she, can she forge ancient names, but also all sorts of new and fun things. The reason she makes she does DJ stuff is because record discs and not one are actually made of obsidian and phlogiston, according to one of the cons. She's always got a pile of commissions on her plate, so you usually have to wait a while before she finishes something. In that case, in this case, though, she's completely cleared her schedule just to work with you. She wants to give your name her full attention. We should properly thank her when we meet. Well, I've already signed up as a warrior, so all I have to do for now is wait for my assignment. It's okay, maybe we can go to see Shion and together. She wouldn't turn me away, right? I mean, I hope she wouldn't. Hey, have some confidence in yourself, Kachina. After all, you're already a victor of the Night Warden Wars. Everyone's so proud of you, you're the future of your tribe. Aww. So, ma? Aww. Second thought, Mabel just found a hole in the ground to jump into and hide for a while. That is one of their movement abilities. A lot of fissures. Centered on Catherine. Interesting. Beyond the smoke and mirrors. Okay. Go to the Children of Echoes. All names are noble. Okay, nothing new there. Okay. Right, and if a treasure trace is occupied by this area being taken up by the Orcon Quest. So let's continue on our merry way. Why not run down while you do this? Talk to Shionan. 
Well, there's another shoe in in right here. Okay. Hello there. Is this your... Is this your workshop? I must have mistaken another spot for them, maybe. No, I think I... Shows the location based on what her little web event showed. Did her role was in. Shu and I brought the person who needs an ancient name. He's super amazing. I've already learned tons of stuff from him. I can vouch that he's really worthy of a hero's name. Oh, yes, I've heard. So young. You've already got quite the reputation. Got these green sort of gemstone eyes, or maybe a bit of an electricity design given this here. Wait, are you Outlanders? If the first time she's had to forge an ancient name for an Outlander. Interesting. Yep, we're travelers who've just arrived in Nala not too long ago. Though I mean, I was aware that you're travelers, it's just no one told me that you're outlanders. Although she means sort of a, as in from space, or just not not one. Well, you're saying the Pyrogon didn't tell you. Well, the only thing she said is that a new hero had pledged himself to the plan. We need to forge an ancient name to assure he'd be able to return safe and sound. She had mentioned that it would be quite difficult to forge an ancient name for them. But at the time, I thought she was just commenting on my skills. But I seem to understand where the true difficulty lies now, huh? Difficult thing. Are you upset? Are you angry? I wouldn't go that far. I'm used to it, really. I just need a moment to process things. Exactly, because what kind of legend would be we be associated with if we don't have roots here? Our Archon's requests are always difficult to fulfill, and we used to argue a lot. Honestly, it's probably for the better that she didn't bring this up at the time. Anyway, I can't argue with her if she isn't here. It'd be pointless to take my anger out on someone else. But just because I understand her rationale doesn't make me any less upset. After all, she must have known that forging an ancient name for an Outlander is an impossible task. It's impossible? Yep, no wink to hear. As you probably know, an ancient name is a symbol of a hero's spirit and glory. She grows even richer and heavier as generations of successors inherit it. We forge ancient names by engraving the heroic deeds of an individual, or will become the first hero of that particular name. I've got plenty of deeds under my belt, but not really here. Yes, I can't with feats recorded in their adventure handbook. Felt like they could do anything. It'd be funny if that actually is something we could read. But they were all performed outside of not one correct. Given that the Ley Lines, and presumably the Night Kingdom, since it functions as not one's Ley Lines, because the dragons destroy the Ley Lines, it would have to sort of be the memories of the land itself. Yeah, that's right. That was a funny little appearance there. And those deeds haven't been recorded by the Night Kingdom, exactly. To take it one step further, even if you had performed her deeds in Nala, as an outlander, your actions still wouldn't have been recorded by her lands. Only memories and experiences that have been acknowledged by the Wyob, Taide, a great spirit, can be used as the basis for an ancient name. Even the greatest of craftsmen cannot create something out of thin air, you know? That's just how it is. Seems the Wyob don't want just anyone to get a name, huh? And if Wika, of all people, should know it better than anyone, one, yet she still entrusted the task of forging an ancient name to me. Um, I guess it, no one's, nobody's happy being asked to do the impossible. Woody nice, the impossible, yeah. Why do I feel like this has happened before? I think last time Shulene just ended up running dozens of laps around the hill nearby. That is uncharacteristically energetic for her. Don't remind me, let's just focus on how we can pull this up, how to achieve the impossible. Hmm. Oh, you mean you're already willing to accept the task? Well, what else can I do? What's happened is already done. It's not like I can outright defy the order of my Archon. She gave me this order, then she believes the ancient name is an indispensable part of her plan, that I'll be able to find a way to make it happen. In other words, the order is an affirmation of my abilities. Well, not only has she accepted the task, but now she's looking for silver linings. So... She has the same voice actress as Jolin from Jojo, actually. Maybe that's just how much she and the Archon trust each other. Now let's see if we can find some special way to pull this off. If we really can't make it work, I'm sure we can still go back and talk to the Pyro Archon, right? The key is getting the log to somehow acknowledge the Traveler's existence and record his own deeds. We heard the voice of a log when we were in the Night Kingdom before. What do you mean by that? Night Kingdom, before we even had a whole conversation with her. If we can talk to her again, maybe we can figure something out together. Every tribe has their own fly off, but how do we know if the one you met is indeed the best one for us to talk to? Heroic deeds? Plus, considering the unprecedented nature of the situation, I have a feeling that the acknowledgement of one wild alone would probably not be enough. 
but we need to gain the acknowledgement of all six one of. So, I don't know, that requires a level of knowledge that I do not possess. I need to find a consultant who is an expert in all things Night Kingdom and Wyob. First person who comes to mind is Satoi, the Masters of the Nightwing, the one we call Granny Itsli. Itsli Baba. Oh, oh, okay, okay, you met the Jojo. Right, exactly. Absent Father. Oh, I've heard of that name before. We use her spirit speaker stone to find Kachina's ancient name. A person who can make something like that must be pretty impressive, but I'm sure she'd be able to help. Still, she's older now and quite eccentric, it's hard to even book a meeting with her, given that she's constantly holed up in her room and doesn't like to be disturbed. I've heard that to get her help, you have to be extremely patient with her and know how to keep her spirit up. Alcohol? I um, hate to break it to you, but she probably won't be very happy with us because we broke the stone. Oh, why's that? Didn't she already help you before and you even managed to save Kachina? Well... Well, yeah, the cost of her spirit's bigger stone being split into two. So we're gonna fix it today, or... Huh? Hmm. By going with Mavica? We're already back off to a rocky start here. In that case, I guess your only option is to try and emphasize that this is an important order from the Pyro Archon. Hopefully, Satoi would still want to show respect to the Archon. I'll also write a letter on your behalf. If you invite someone to deliver it and mention some good things about you, and that should help too. Oh, might be oral one. Oh, okay. Oh, it's that's Kinich stole for the letter. He understands the whole situation and is already a familiar face to her. Haman sure, sure, sure hopes Aha won't interrupt when he's talking, though. I'm not Kinich as a season negotiator. I trust they will know the best things to say. Yeah, then I'll go contact him right now. Please give me a moment to write the letter. We can meet up near the Statue of the Seven later. All right, then, the one we still can't harmonize with. Sounds good, we'll take a stroll in the meantime. What are we gonna talk about? Okay, go and meet up with Kinich at the agreed location. That would be... Okay, it's right over there. All right. Well, let's just roller skate on up. Hello there. Ah, she a little skid, I like that. Kinich makes his way over after some time. We meet again, Kachina told me everything, I'll go over the message to the Masters of the Night Wind and convince Satoa to give you a chance. Gotta listen to everything he says. I'll also take this chance to explain what happened to the Spirit Speaker Stone. Just that Spirit Stone, and offer her an apology in person. Sorry to put this on you, Kinich, it's just that you're probably the only person who knows how to deal with her. It's alright, we're all working for the sake of the Power Cards plan, after all. Everyone here understands how dire the situation has become. That it's come to this, basically. Hmm. Oh, I see, so Kachina and the Traveler also know about the plan. Mm -hmm, because we all saw a hero of the past, and that was Tupac. We materialized right before our eyes, and Milani said that a ton of knowledge and memory suddenly flooded her brain. The Pyro Archon explained everything when we came back from the Night Kingdom, including the reason behind the appearance of the hero, as well as the current state of the Night Kingdom. Right, she mentioned there are six heroes, and that Shilinen is one of four that have already been acknowledged. Well, there's a Milani, Kinich, and Yansan. Find out the others soon. Uh -huh, then I suppose there's no need to keep any secrets between us. Having companions walk by her side is perhaps the best solace when facing such a bleak reality. I have another piece of intel to share. We pretty much identified the person who rescued the captain and escaped with the sacred flame. His name is Odoron, and he also, he also hails from the Masters of the Nightwind. However, he spent most of his life living out in the wilderness by himself, away from the rest of the tribe. Farmer. So he's apparently... We have some details about his kit, and apparently he's... Going to be a pretty good official alternative, especially for Electro Charge, which is interesting. That's why his disappearance went unnoticed by the time Satoali finally realized that he was gone. No one had heard from him for quite a while. Satoali knows him too. That's right, Oron was an orphan raised by the chief of the Master of the Nightwind, many other kind-hearted people in his tribe. Still, he's had something of an odd reputation his whole life. Uh -huh. Given how the masters of that one went to babble about dreams and revelations, they're already a pretty strange bunch to most. And it's. They're the Miklon. And Miklon is. Yep, it's the Aztec underworld, which is why they're so familiar with the Night Kingdom. Or, more accurately, according to the original, the Night God's Kingdom. I've never met Orvo, but even if, if even they consider him the odd one, he's got to be pretty far out there. That's right, so in that sense, Oro and Sutuali actually have quite a bit in common, which is why they get along pretty well. 
That makes sense, but Palmon wonders how Sotoawe could be the first one to notice Orin's disappearance if she spends the whole day in her room. She's a fortune teller, probably. As of now, we still haven't been able to confirm whether Oro joined the Fitui voluntarily or if he was coerced. Satoli is probably eager to prove that Oron hasn't betrayed his people. I plan to use this as a leverage when I go to talk to Uragita. If I'm following, you mean we'll help her investigate Oron and the captain's whereabouts? Yes, if you're on board with the idea, then it becomes a mutually beneficial collaboration rather than just a one-sided request. Sad mm -hmm. Kinich has been willing to work with, albeit eventually betray even the Abyss Order. Kinich's story quest was not... Yeah, I have, and I'm really excited for it. His jump's real cool. If you combine with Chaska, they can get infinite uh, infinite airtime in Nalan, which is insane. And additionally, he is going to breathe, breathe life into a lot of older characters too. People are already talking about using him with Tartagli and Aito. I don't have Aito. But given that he's kind of going to be a bit like Shavros for Electro Charge, albeit with more a bit more of a damage focus. The big thing is that he can hold Cinder City, which is a ridiculous buffing set. Which is... That's the only way he buffs Hydro Damage, is just Cinder City set. Proccing Electro Charge to buff Hydro Damage. But it's still a 40% damage buff, which is pretty crazy. I guess the question is who else you put on the team. But he's also apparently going to be a good option for Chaska. I've seen people talk about running Chaska, Fiorina, Oron, and Bennett as possibly her best team. But we don't really know exactly all the ins and outs of her mechanics yet. But that's what people are saying might be her best option. She gets a lot out of Constellations, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. That said, that some people wonder if she'll be standard. <laughs> that... The, the English voice actors are... They have to tweet a lot because English voice acting, especially right now with the strike and all, is a dangerous and desolate landscape. You need to get eyes on you any way possible. Quite frankly, I think Albedo's voice actor in English did more tweeting than he did voice acting. Okay. Even though I don't think Stolly is the kind of person to turn down an order from the Pyro Archon, working together with us will help her focus and not get distracted by the whole Oro Run situation. Good idea, this way we can get two birds with one stone. Yeah, was it the White Stone under the Black Stone then? Last Archon Quest title? Yeah, plus we kind of overwrought anyway to make up for breaking the Spirit Speaker Spirit Stone. This is a pretty well. Got our plan is expected of Maui Po Trinfarkinit. Yes, Sasuga Mari Po Kinichi. Then I'll leave my ladder to you. Let's hope she totally can meet at the stadium in two days. It is, it is really funny how, you know, the generally agreed upon translation of Sasuga is just as expected of. And it, it's the, it's the only thing that really describes its meaning, but it's, it's not even stilted as much as it's just, that's the one translation that ever makes sense. You can't really afford to get artsy with it. I did not know you got Nubia by accident. Who are you rolling for? Though I can't imagine you're complaining. I'll leave my letter to you. What's up? She says, well, I can meet the stadium in two days. She'll head out right away. Take care of their Kinich. Kinichi on Nissan. I'll be heading back as well. There's still a few things I need to pack. Okay, I'm to part ways for now. I'll see you in a couple of days. Oh, okay, well. I'm sure you've heard me scold you before, but building pity isn't real. You should never roll in a banner unless you're fine getting the five star, even by accident. And that... Who was the new... Was there a new four star in there? Wait until the morning of the day after tomorrow. Shionan joins you in your search for a way to complete the task entrusted to you by Mabuika. She believes that you should search for a woman named Sitoli. Oh, welcome. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. How are you doing? Oh! But Sh Shovey wasn't... Was Shovey on that? Was Raiden also running at the same time? It's been a while. I don't remember. That's good. Well, I'm actually doing the new Archon quest now. We are presumably about to meet Slatali. We'll see. We'll see Tlali. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, so... Wait. Shavros wouldn't have been on raid up. We just try to get her off banner then. 
That that is some serious gambling. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we can go over. I have to keep this. And that got skipped. I hate my super chungus life. Talk to Shionen. My goodness, all names are noble. What dialogue did I just accidentally skip? What what dialogue did I just accidentally skip? Super chungus life. Okay. And that, let me see. What did Palmon just say? Palmon said. It's time to meet up with Shuanen. Let's ask her how things have been going. Okay. Oh, oh, Lynette. Okay, but... Wait, Lynette wasn't on that banner either, right? Oh my goodness. I... I don't know how to feel. Okay, Shuanen's back. Lynette's interesting. I saw a video about a week ago of someone running Lynette C6 DPS to do Abyss with Furin and some other characters. Hey, Shuanen, how's everything going? Well, hi, Traveler and Pamon. I have bad news. She totally did not reply to her request, although I suppose I'm not too surprised. Oh, I mean, she didn't even bother to have Kinish a response. Guess she really does have quite an ego then. She was probably just hungover. <laughs> she can also be quite eccentric, though she's one of the most gifted people around. Even the Masters of the Night went off and struggled to work with her. I guess that she probably has other reasons for not dating us with a response. You honestly... I find it interesting that... Night Soul is very plainly Shade of Death related, and RK is probably related to Shade of Life, because the Fontaine Glider's description explains that Ijiria was created by the Shade of Life. So I'm wondering if we'll get sort of Shade of Time related and Shade of Space gimmicks later. And if so, it'd be interesting to see when they inevitably make the Shades playable characters, how they might interact. With the existing gimmick, because in that case, okay, would the Shade of Life basically be a Fontaine character then, or what? Celestia character? What would that even mean? Also, I do contend they can make Capitano big. They should release Ozda as a character, as an on-field DPS with shield strength damage scaling, so that he can get a bonus from jean Lee's A4 pass that boosts shield strength when you get hit, and also actually use Retracing Bullet or something. Because I really like how... Nuviat is an on-field DPS sovereign who works well with the Archon, corresponding Archon. Though I wonder what they could do for Opep if they want to put out a sort of a human Opep to make her work with Nahida. If that would even make sense, because to be fair, I'm not sure it would make sense for Opep to work with Nahida if Opep came out, considering that Opep at least does not like Nahida. When, well, Nuviat and Furina certainly have at least somewhat better of a working relationship. Okay. The Masters and I went off and struggled to work with her. I guess that she probably has other reasons for not dating us with a response. I guess the question is, you know, if Ozda was playable, what kind of weapon would he have? Would it be Claymore? Maybe he'd be like Keenich and be a Claymore who doesn't actually use a Claymore and he just uses Earth Tremors or something. Opep? Opep is a woman. Opep is explicitly female. More or less. But let's go to the stadium and see if we can meet her there. If we do get a chance to talk to her in person, we can still try to work something out. Did he think Opep was just a really fruity guy like Baiju or something? That's true, let's go. So, go to the agreed location and wait for Satali. Okay, going with Shionen. I love this theme so much. This was the song that they used for the initial Saurian reveal trailer some months ago. So that was the first bit of sort of real not one music we got. It's so good. I love how it has this transition from this sort of lone flute melody intro to this nice, very vibey, quasi-electronic. Well, now the music's gone. This is sad. It's okay. You know, in the end, in the end, I feel like Opep is probably... You know, given that they're all dragons who presumably reproduce somewhat asexually anyway. I'm not sure how well the concept can even be applied, I guess. Well, let's go up and wait for Satwali. There we are. Okay. We arrived at the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. As expected, Satwali is not there. Okay, where is she? Paimon doesn't see anybody. Seems like she's not... Seems she's just not gonna show up, huh? Oh? Oh? Sigh, what we tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation at all. 
That might be true, but this is still a request from the Pyro Archon, right? Shouldn't a subject always answer the call of their Archon? Subject? Well, if you ask me, I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. They're just showing me na nakama. Everyone brothers. Yes, Mavuka is our leader, but that doesn't mean there's any kind of tall barrier between us and her. Let me see. The only thing is that she often has very high expectations of us, I can tell. Well, so even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's actually pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. High expectations. I'm like that old hag. That's Baba. Oh, and she's gonna hear us call her Baba. Right, does she think she can ignore us just because she's famous? You all talk about her like she's some kind of huge deal, but she didn't even bother to reply to a letter. Seriously, even if she didn't want to come, she could at least let us know. That's what aging does to you, Pama never wants to get old. So how old is Pama then? Also, apparently, Sitlali is... Oh really? So that's how you see me. Sitlali apparently is designed by the same person as Farazan, some people say. Voiced by... Tano Asami, who is also, of course, Sakura in. What else did she voice? Famous roles, she was. Other roles. Nothing I really recognize. Huh. Look over there and find nothing notable there? That's strange. Checking MAO. She... Yeah, there... She was something in Fairy Tale, apparently. Who are you trying to level up right now? Ningguang, Yunjin... Oh, really? So that's how you see me? Oh, and all goes dark. Oh, who's there who's talking next up I'm on? Oh, don't right, mind me, I'm just a disgruntled old hag. Toshiyori. Baba. Not just old, not really old as much as sort of aged, I suppose. Come on, relax. I'm sure my bark's worse than my bite. Oh, Sitlali. Huh? Wait, you're Sitlali? You're Granny Eatsley. Omaite. Krasubaba. Eatsley. Eatsley is... Eatsley is Nahuatl for Obsidian. Okay. So that, sort of the more literal word for obsidian, and that, so basically, obsidian grandma, because in the Japanese they said grasu, which is, you know, just transliterated glass. Wait, so, I didn't know you needed a glaze lily to get an oculus. Are you trying to make a, an oculus resonance stone? Okay, let me see. You could always use the map. Maybe. See something. Yeah, because he uses an obsidian mirror for divination. And obsidian itself is a kind of volcanic glass. You must know this trope from white novels. Shotsetsu. Is it all the time? The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. Well, that's me. The girl next door it turns out to be a seasoned veteran. That's literally Milani, the wise sage who looks like a little kid. I guess that's her. I wipe that look off your face. You've seriously never seen an older lady that doesn't look her age. Okay, well, well, that's far as on. Don't go think it's a trick either. See, I'm barely wearing any makeup. How is she immortal then? Okay. In that case, give me a second. Don't forget to mention, she's called Granny, but uh, she's actually pretty young. 200 years. They were complaining about the pyroch on weaving things out. It was an honest mistake. I guess we've just gotten used to it. Um, Paimon, sorry, so how old are you actually? It's a bit impolite. How dare you? Don't you know it's rude to ask your age? My goodness. Oh, Pamela really didn't mean to offend you, it's just that your case seems really unique. Oh, Pamela just wanted to apologize, but now she's putting more and more of her foot in her mouth. Wait, like, Pamela just got a little mad since we thought, well, you were going to leave us out to dry. Hmm. It was my idea to invite you here so totally, so if you're upset, you can just take it out on me. Alright, I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise anyone. There's really no need to take all this so seriously. If anything, I'm gonna feel awkward if we keep this going, huh? Mishinade? I received Kinesha's letter. It was planning to attend this meeting. It's not already decided to come. I figured there was no need to draft a reply that somebody said understood. Besides, is showing up is the most important part, no? But of course, demo. 
Now she hates us. Or, it's also natural for people to get held up by one thing or another as they're trying to leave the house. Huh, it certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. At first I was thinking of quietly sneaking over, but since you were already here waiting for me, I started thinking about how I should phrase my apology only to hear you all talking smack about me on my days. Having her talk a bit like an old person in the English script. But anyway, that's the whole story. I mean, honestly, it's not like I owe you an explanation anyway. Just called herself Glass Granny. If you'll give me a second, I can let you pick a few yourself, actually. Oh, what's with that expression? Is she hung over? Is she feeling embarrassed just now? Oh? Is she waiting for us to carry on the conversation? Everything she's saying sounds like a joke, but I'm not sure if I should laugh. Would it be rude to laugh, or even more rude not to laugh? And the masters in that one say they struggle dealing with her. I wonder if the feeling is mutual. She seems to be pretty awkward herself. Everything she does and says seems a bit forced. Social anxiety, girl. Um, anyway, Shunen, I heard that you require my help in crafting an ancient name. Correct, the situation isn't like anything we handled before. Let me explain. And Shunen explains the Pyrokin's request as well as the difficulty she's encountered. See, so Mabuka has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. That certainly would be an unprecedented feat. And you've also heard all about Orohon. I must say, he's always been a good kid. I can't see him joining the Fatui of his own volition. He must have been coerced somehow. We'll know once we find him. Yeah, that's what we came here to ask you. We'll help bring Orohon back if we help us solve the problems of forging an ancient name. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm, I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Traveler, come here. Let me take a look at you. Instead of judging our worthiness, or... Hmm. Excuse me. Drank some... Drank a shake. Dot, dot, dot. Uh-oh. She's squeezing that hard? Well, if we had to unending conflicts between people, yet you won't transcend the value of gold. So she's doing a reading, palm reading? Baleful Thunder? Well, she's not actually holding a hand. Baleful Thunder and Wrathful Waves bring terror to mortal hearts, yet again and again you brave them to find new worlds. So that's referring to pre... to that stuff, maybe? A weary yet free soul, even the most verdant leaf in the forest will pray for your happiness and safe passage. Excuse me, what was all that supposed to mean? Those are all things that I could see in you. You've experienced far more than even most mortals could dream of. Possess the heart of a sincere hero, along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. Hmm. A torch. The name that was mentioned in Shionen's character teaser, where she was forging an ancient name? I don't know yet, but I presume it was the Traveler's. The name was basically Guide. Oh, don't move, there's something here. Don't move. Yeah, there's something. Yeah, there's something is here. Oh, what thing? Don't scare Plamon. Is the traveler going to be okay? Shoo. Oh, what? What was that? Something abyssal? Or... Oh, souls. That should do it. You've just returned for the Night Kingdom, so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. No need to worry, I've just cleared out the last of them. Eek, isn't that kind of like having part of a ghost come back with you? It's nothing as serious as that. If left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind and generally worsen your mood. In that case, better get rid of him. Thank you. I can't believe Satali is a Scientologist. She just cleared out all of our thetans. It was nothing. Shiona, let's follow your proposal. Once you brought Oron back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. Uh, Yagami, yeah, the night god, basically. The Lord of the Night, but don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribes? Well, the Lord of the Night would basically be the super Wyab, I presume. Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. Only the Lord of the Night can decide whether we can grant an ancient name to one who does not hail from our lands. The Lord of the Night is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom. I believe it's... Something that's very similar in shape, though not entirely the same as... That big pillar in the Night Kingdom area where we fight all the Night Soul local legends, constantly barring the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the Abyss. Oh, sir, basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the Tribes. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the Lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. Given the Wyab, great spirit and all, or sort of a collective consciousness of souls, I believe, in the Night Kingdom. It would have to be the Shade of Death, basically, allowing them to even exist. 
Not exactly, well, it's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Oh, but never mind, that's not important, it would take too much time to explain. Well, actually, it's just, you don't want to spoil it yet. So listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you, the Word of the Night is currently in a deep slumber. We can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. In other words, in a dream. But I'll need to prepare a few more things if we were to hold the ceremony to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list, can any of you get everything for me? Hmm. Interesting. I can go, it'll probably be a long list. So better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Jimoto? The local, yeah? Sounds good, now we'll go to Tuami to track down order on. The Fatui are nothing to scoff at, so please be careful during your investigation. If you need any help, just come find me. Yeah, we'll be sure to play it safe. Okay, Moriyoshi Nazo. We won't do the impossible. Alright, now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. Hmm. What did she just say there? I'm the Warugaki. Basically nasty brat. <laughs> I'm sorry I made you wait earlier, is actually because it has swing by Orwin's place to look for clues. He wasn't there. He has always slept alone, and I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlegiston aphids. That's the event that's actually going on right now, which I assume is because the keeper has been gone for quite some time. And interestingly enough, I saw some slash marks in the house that did not match any of our local weapons. I guess is that they were wet by Sniznayan arms. Oh, it sounds like the Fatui broke into his house and took him hostage. But why, they kidnap a kid who just spends his days living in the country and raising aphids. He's only in his twenties, what would they want with him? Finally, age confirmation on somebody. Ahem, that's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Because he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Nala, and he must have done something to attract their attention. In any case, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. Truly sorry to put you two through all this trouble with me, but please help me get him back. Then count on us. All right, now let's start by heading to where Oruan was seen last. His house. Okay, that's... To whence the smoke drips, investigate clues. Satali comes as promised, but she also makes a request. She wants you to help her find her missing grandson, Oro, and you take this commission and set out alongside her. So I guess he's, his house might be over here. It's around where that one totem for the Atwaddle's blessing is. If you want to get some glaze lilies, come over here to Liwe, I guess. Bunch around here. Said he wanted seven. Go ahead, get seven. And... I like the music she's got playing there. And... Punch down. Thank you. Wait, why? You can join. Oh! Yeah. Oops. And I talk such a big game, too. I don't know, maybe that means you gotta raise your world level. Not really, no. That would help you level characters faster, actually. I'd say it's worth it for the bosses, but I don't know. Okay, okay, just checking. So in that case, let's just... Oh, I did not mean to not still transmit. Oops. Let's go over there. Oh well. Oh well, and you're over that way. Hmm. Just slide down the mountain. There you are. Cool. There you go. Maybe you could find a guilty person. Feel less bad that way. This is a spot. Kokoyo. It's here. An eyewitness claimed to have seen Oron speaking to some Fatui soldiers here. Here's a challenge. I don't know how much you're going to believe me, but Oron really is a good kid. I see no reason why he'd suddenly get involved with the Fatui. Then why'd she call him a nasty brat just now? I'm convinced that the witness that what the witness saw was actually the Fatui coercing him, perhaps trying to extract information. However, I doubt anyone would believe me given there are no signs of a fight. Well, I'm not sure they'd let him in. Didn't Kimu say that she's a big name and not one? Feels kind of weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. And tell us a little more about him. Oron? It's more, more of an Oron. He was left at the side of the road as an infant and the people of the tribe took him in. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. He learned a lot from us and once he reached adulthood he built himself a house out in the countryside. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids living off what he harvests from the garden. Well, what materials? 
They, they always come back anyway. It's not like she could steal Prima Gems. Sai has always been such a good kid. He would even get his friend to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. What friend? Probably Ifa. That's all there is to him, and he really doesn't sound like a bad person. Oh, well, let's keep looking. He can answer all of our questions once we find him. He's been raising forgiston aphids for a long time. Since they were disturbed, he has secreted a special type of forgiston. You can use that substance to track his movements. It's probably almost sight. Well, there you go. Koseki. Let's follow the forgiston trail. Oh, a trail pump doesn't see anything. Well, elemental sight. All right, I forgot your eyes don't naturally perceive such things. Mitachi no me. Here, give me your hand. Oh, we're gonna sort of share her vision ability. The Masters of the Night Wind do have the ability to have a special sort of forgisting sight, apparently. Oroon's kit. When he goes into a charge shot mode, there's a little radical that allows him to kind of scan. Dot, dot, dot. What do you mean by that? Oh, okay. How about now? What do you see? I can see the trail now. Oh, we got little rocks there. Well, Palm, I can see it now too. That's right, I use a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. Okay. For a short while, you'll be able to see the Fogiston too. Well, I can even share your senses with us for some Palm, or anything like that. Well, it. One thing is. A lot of sites. Sites like that rely on self reporting. Additionally. Sometimes they rely on purchase metrics, which are also very inaccurate, even if it's not self-reporting. And generally speaking, a lot of people bought early Prima Gems early in the patch, or Crystals, because that's when the top-up refresh, top-up bonus refresh. That doesn't mean that they immediately spent them. And even sure since the last first time, Palmon's heard anything like that. Quar's a very real spare that most people aren't adept at, but don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of it, it seems that... The Traveler's... Uh, the name? This was translated weird. We're a bit stronger than Paimon's. A rare spell. When I held your hand just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for Fulgiston. Lots of elemental affinity. Extraordinarily gifted. Anyway, we'll need to use a vision to attract an aura, and good luck you too. Okay. Over this way, his supply may sell out of deep and confusing stuff. The spell of hers is really something. It's not actually elemental sight. Hmm. Follow the trail. What was that? Oh? No oh, problem, just complimenting your reeling. Not getting along all that well. What I will say, additionally, is... People just might not have him built yet. He did come out later, even if they did roll him. I see a few keen each people myself, actually. What is she mama deep and confusing as far as elderly shamans go? It's said that I'm pretty easy to already pretty easy to talk to, is an old hag who's as fluent in the language of you as me. Deep and confusing, but is my way of speaking still not trendy enough? Or I try about some natural speech patterns, given the looks on their faces just now. Yeah, because she's not as sort of all the lady speaking in the Japanese as she is in the English, I'd say. Perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough that, that I can't be right. But don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old-fashioned. Oh, goodness. Can we hear her thoughts, or is it just the vibes? Huh? Accidental telepathy? Or... Wait. I think I just heard a voice, but... Wait, but it wasn't with my ears. It was it all in my mind? Is that Satoli's voice? Da da da. Accidental telepathy. Seems to out heard the same voice. She also looks like she understood what's going on. Let me think. Uh, it must be a side effect of the spell she cast. Okay, so it's the shared senses. Now that I think about it, it's a good thing I found some helpers this time. Some things are best done with all the friends. So we can now hear her thoughts through telepathy. Wow, this is amazing. Something like this could only happen with such Okay. Okay. Oh, they appear to be feeling quite confident. Looks like a rope will go smoothly. You better just leave it to us. Oh, so now she can tell. So we're telling her that we're responding. Or maybe she thinks that she can hear us, but we can't hear her. Maybe. Here, looks like there's a new camp over there. 
Investigate it. That's what she saw. New looking camp. Let's go take a look. That would have read, I swear. Just hope he hasn't got himself in any real trouble. Why well, didn't show her name that time? You know what? I feel like doing this challenge right now. 12 pyro particles in 40 seconds. Okay. Wonder if these grapple points will stay after. Probably not. Yeah, they're gone. No, they're still there. Maybe? Well, artifact inventory is sadly full. Let's again feed a couple to Hazo then. One day, one day I'll be able to use them. In the far, far future. Okay. Okay, Zo. Oh, okay, well. It's still just 14, but still. Let's grapple back over. It'd be cool if this stayed in. It's kind of convenient, I guess. Just kind of. And... May as well... Okay, we didn't get to break those crates. Hmm, yep, judging from Palmer's experience as a guide, it definitely looks like people set up camp here. Wait, the Fulgessian here is a bit odd. Oh, let me see. Huh? Palmer sees a small shape here, could it be some sort of symbol? This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind. Maybe someone from our tribe would recognize it, so Orum was indeed being threatened. Or is it some kind of trick? You got to find him fast. He being such an inconspicuous mark implies that he was trying to be discreet. In other words, he was probably under the Fatui's watch. Hmm. If they notice us, we can just charge and fight them to the death. But, but what if my darling grandson is also there? I can't have him caught in the crossfire. Hmm. I know I've got to be careful, otherwise you get a hit as well. Ah, oh, how annoying. No, no, I've got to keep it down and stay composed. Hmm. All right. You were getting clustered. Okay, continue forward and investigate. No more crates for you. And what else? Let's just send you in. The nice thing is that you can immediately tap the E, actually. Because it, her Night Soul Bar doesn't fill up all the way and she hits that E, because she also has to increase her points to trigger her Shred. Okay. Should take us out of the state. It'd be funny if our Fulgissant was totally drained when we gain control. The traces of people staying here, too. But a second, the Fulgissant around here is jumbled up. When in circles, or... You can also smell a mix of elements in the air, power electric, and some other elements as well. Oh no, Kaminari. Some different words, maybe? And usual for the elements. As all the words are sort of conflated in the English, there's pyro electro. Which is why when there are some translation issues, or at least ambiguities over whether sort of whether water or hydro element is met, meant in certain places. Such as, I believe, the water strip goblet. He needs told us that you were super amazing. No wonder he can sense so many more things than us. Da da da. If it's about time, that little brat said something nice about me. Goodness. These are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But after that, the fact that they have gone their separate ways. So who are the pyro be from? But the Fulgist and the elemental traces in the air support that. It was like Oron found a chance to fight back. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Patman's thinking, what if Oron wanted to leave another distress signal? Was caught by the Fatui. The sign. Satoli looks pretty worried. Indeed, judging by the distress signal from before, Oron was being held by the Fatui. So given the difference in numbers, he probably wouldn't have been able to overpower them. Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. Probably a bad idea. Well... Looks like we have no choice. I'll take this direction and leave the other one to you. Let's meet up again later. Hmm. Orun, what the heck were you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I had to bring other people into this as well. You little brat. Basically, a kid who can't be dealt with. Off she goes. Traveler, did he hear all that as well? Yep. When Satoli left, that voice went away as well. Palma even tried calling her name inside Palma's head, but there was no response. So the Twelpy doesn't go both ways. 
So we were singing the same thing. Pamela also felt that if we could hear what she was thinking, then she could probably also hear what we were thinking in her heads. But things so tall we noticed any of them. She did say that she was quite adept at the spell and it doesn't sound like she's having trouble with it in the past. Maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect, or maybe people just haven't mentioned it before. Ah, oh, if you think about it, she's really got a lively inner world that paints quite a different picture from Pamela's first impression of her. Nidiaka, yeah, lively. Split up and investigate. It's over there. Huh. So she went over that way. And chat real quick. Oh well. Mm, don't think there's anything here. How about we check out somewhere else? Alright then. I can transmit. And there we are. Thank you. And over here. By that carriage or I'm gonna see some traces here. Let's follow them and see if we can find anything up ahead. I'll just get an item somewhere or I'll just pick up. Nothing. Never mind. I I'm going crazy. I'm just see. Thought I picked something up, I swear. Also, I need to open up the Signs of the Canopy special room. Okay, gotta check back eventually. I'm going crazy. Continue investigating the clues in the area. Over this way. Okay. And over there, and now we've stopped. Oh well. We're gonna find him. You can hear Sappho's music. It's funny. There are traces of Fulgis in here, but... Did you find something? I found some traces of Fulgis but the trail completely ends here. Oh, so I can't tell what Oro might have gone from here. It's weird the Fulgis trail said we stopped, so we can't make anything of these footprints either. Oh, and yeah, she's right over there. It'd be funny if we had to fight her. But he can't have just evaporated into thin air, right? You know, he wasn't alone. He had all this fatigue with him. Haman's right. This is all extremely strange also. So you can hear the sounds of the wind from beneath the earth. Oh, so the night wind is wind from beneath the earth, exactly, because it's the wind of the night kingdom. Ah. So he is communicating with us. Oh, whose voice was that just now? And Paman's gone. So has he hypnotized us? Or... Oh. Now we're in a dream, I suppose. Interesting. Or where? That's some Night Kingdom-like stuff, and yeah, we're in the Night Kingdom now. And look, we've got all of these Wyab proxies lit up. All the ones we can have lit up are lit up. The Night Kingdom, how did I get here? And yep, that's a bit similar to the pillar in the stadium. It's on that Word of the Night name card, so that must be where the Word of the Night is. Night Kingdom, how did I get here? Well, I, it's not like I haven't been here before. There he is! Hello! Hello, Ravon. I'm very sorry, but please do not move. I have no desire to hurt you. Oh? Dot, open parenthesis. Dot, 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 exclamation mark, close parenthesis. I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this. It's just that... Much like one of those animals with ears that perk up as soon as it senses danger in their environment. And given your combat proficiency, I would not be able to gain an advantage over you if we were anywhere else in the world. However, you're now in the Night Kingdom, a familiar domain to the masters of the Night Wind. It'd be cool to try to fight him in here. I'm a traveler, I'm Oromon, the one you've been searching for. Well, what does this mean? Have you escaped the Vitui's custody? Oh, the Vitui's custody, I see. So even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Vitui? I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie, like a false omen and a lingering smoke. So she and I'm alive as well, or... Like his heterochromia. My friend and I only want those traces to worry here, so probably Kabatano. Deceiving you was never a true intent, however. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set the meeting. It's the captain. Yep. Eugene. Yep, the captain is his friend. Greetings, traveler from afar. And... What else does he voice? Let me see. He voices... Oh, he's Seshomaru in... 
Seshomaru. Interesting. In, but not the Seshomaru from Inuyasha. An entirely different Seshomaru. There are multiple Seshomarus, apparently. I hate being deceived like that. And... Let me just see what else he is. Not that many... Let me see. Let's try to figure out, because this is Narita Kame. See if I recognize anything. Voices... Something in Rurouni Kenshin, which I haven't watched. No, he is Seshomaru in Inuyasha too. So basically, any time they have a character named Seshomaru, they get him to voice it. It's actually really funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Greetings traveler from afar. Be careful with this traveler. His soul is temporarily restrained by us. Appears to become more fragile in the process. Taking all my concentration to hold on to him. So I guess they could have basically killed us. By dissipating our soul? We're that vulnerable to spiritual attacks, I guess. Was I your task or to the traits that we do here? Now I use the master's ritual to bring your soul to the night kingdom. So I wonder if that implies that Aoife is Pyro. Given if it's Electro and Pyro and he knows Aoife. Aoife's flower feather, though to be fair, given that Oron is Electro and Masters of the Nightwind, doesn't necessarily mean much. Though, to be fair, Flower Feather Clan is probably at least as much a Pyro Clan as it is an Animo Clan. Right, now I use the Master's Ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom, so you're working together. What do you want? I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Given the present situation, not one, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you in person. Uh, I like how calm and honestly soft spoken he is. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations to you, as well as why I mistrust Mabuka, the Pyro Orgon. I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. Got the hair coming out the back of the helmet, too. If you would like to hear her intel... It is funny that he puts the coat on over the hair, though to be fair, the coat's big enough that... Can't imagine it's a problem. Then find us to the east of the stadium, but remember not a word of this to anyone. I would like to avoid any further conflict. You will see me again once you return to reality, no matter what I say. Please help me keep this a secret. It's all to avoid dragging Granny Sitwali into the conflict. Hmm. Interesting. Spirited away. And as soon as we came in, we left. All right. So do we tell Paman or dot 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 exclamation mark? You can hear the local legend playing again. Hey, what happened just now? You suddenly collapsed and stopped responding. I'm fine. Was my soul forcibly removed from my body just now? I would explain why I couldn't hear Paimon at all. Hey, why are you sitting on the ground? Are you okay? Tripped or something? So tall you froze for a moment and then just collapsed to the ground. Could have been those leftover remnants from the Night Kingdom? Do you have any itches or pain anywhere? Nope. I'm fine, just a little lightheaded. Don't worry, we can take a short break. Sorry, I know I asked for your help, but I had I known you were feeling unwell. Wouldn't have taken you on this trip with me. Gotten good about the animations in these cutscenes. If they were being truthful, then they must have reasonable motivations for what they did. But should I trust them? I could just share everything with Paimon Satoli right now, but that means giving up on the lead. I still haven't had much dealings with either Fatui or the Master of the Nightwind. I suppose I'll stay quiet for now and see if I can find out anything else. Hmm. Very sneaky of us. If you're feeling sick, you should just say so. Satoli should be able to uh, exercise any ghosts or weird stuff that you picked up in the Night Kingdom. That's not the problem here. We are lying. A seasoned traveler must know the importance of not pushing yourself beyond your limit. If you need anything from me, just say the word. Thanks to everyone, I'm feeling fine now. In any case, let's take a bit more time to rest now. Even though the situation remains quite urgent, you take a longer break with Paimon Satwali. Ororun's words still echo in your mind. Meanwhile, Satwali continues to keep her eyes on you and even performs another checkup. Tot. They really make her speak like an old woman in the English. Need to be more careful next time. Think better yet, Traveler. Alright, let's get ready. Sigino Junbi. Get ready for the next thing. I thought Michael gets in trouble earlier to a stronghold guarded by soldiers. 
I have a feeling that Oron is probably being held inside. Ah. Oh, so it's close by. Let's head over right away. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was holding you up. So we're going to go to this false lead. Well, I recruited you to be my helper, which means we're in this together. Like the wind of the clouds, we either move as one or not as all. The night wind? But if you want to make it up to me, then just be sure to find extra hard when the time comes. Hmm. Go to the campsite that Satwali found. Over there. Satwali comes as promised, but she also makes a request. She wants you to find, help her find her missing grandson, Oron. Take this commission, set out alongside her. And we'll dash over. There we are. Can start consuming that full gifts in, I suppose. Well. Frankly, I think the reason is that they aren't as common as you might think, for better or worse. Look over there. Oh, Palmon thinks she sees someone in the middle of the camp, and yep, that's him. Yeah, she, Palmon's the only one who wouldn't even recognize him there. It's Oron, so he really was taken by the Fatui. So that's Oron. He does look the same as when I spoke to him in the Night Kingdom earlier. Alright, we'll take the lead. Or are we even going to fight? In a sneak up, or what? Da da da. Coaster Witsky. Hey, quit daydreaming. Don't you have work to do? So is he the pirate tracer? I cannot see the sun. What? Without the sun, I cannot see the truth. You are currently blocking the light, so I must beseech you to move aside. Mm. Very mysterious of him. Huh, okay, Mr. Philosopher. That's enough mumbo jumbo. Well, I'm going to rip that guy's head right off. Absolutely kill him. Satoya is struggling to control her temper now. Hmm, are you ready? Let's go kick her butts. For what it's worth, one thing, and I've said this before about Genshin, is just a single character requires so much work to create compared to every other Hoyo game for so many reasons. They can rarely ever afford to take any kind of risk when putting a character out. On my count, 3, 2, 1, sign the itch. Okay. She is running in. Wonder if we'll get any kind of combat support. Still trying to resist, yet got no idea who you're up against. Okay. And let's actually try to take you out as quickly as possible before you shield up and... There we oh, well, we missed. That's not good. Come on. And we can... Shoot again, nice stuff. I guess. Oh, but that's Electro. That's not good. Hi, hello. You're looking at us, that's funny. Come on, come on, and just. Oh, please. Not even burning anymore. That's not fun. Oh, right, because one healed the other. Uh, this is gonna be a complicated situation. Alright then. Okay. Come on, I... Let's stay out of the way of you then. I, thanks. And shoot. And another. And shoot. Just gotta take out you. Thank you. And now it... Getting rid of your shield is going to be... Trouble for sure. Alright. Thanks. And... Thank you. And... We can... Try damaging you, but good luck. Come on. All these blooms are actually doing okay. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, we got stuck. You don't like that. You know, it's not all that bad, actually. But brute forcing is never how you want to take down any of these enemies. Oh, and well, there are more. Okay, alright. Hmm, let's see which ones we can take out, at least. Uh, can I smack you? So every kind of elemental patrol was represented. More or less. Except actually the cryo one. Okay, cool. And we'll... Is that all? Yeah, that's all. There we are. We fought off all your friends. Oron? Granny. <laughs> uh, Pompa knows she's called Granny Itzli, but it's still kind of weird getting someone actually call her Granny. On purpose, at least. And greetings to you, Gramps. Yep, because we're also old, Gramps. What do you just call him? Gramps is not not right, your granny's friend, are you not? You seem to be approximately the same age as her. Older, actually. 
So I figure you've got to be Grams. Goodness. How many times have I told you it doesn't work like that? There are a lot of people look about the same age as me. Can't go around calling everyone Grams or Ray. Wait, 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 he's not a child, is he? Don't tell Palma, he's one of those people who look like an adult who are actually only eight or nine years old. Oh, nice. As in Max statue of or Max World Bubble? Your words have pierced my heart like a thorned vine. Given how hard those thorns are to remove, I may just need to find a pair of tweezers. Okay, so he's ridiculous. Oh, okay, okay, there you go. So you can do that quest now, right? Why are you so upset? You can just say yes or no. Of course I'm not a child, it's just Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due. Since the Master did not want to raise me collectively. Basically, see, everyone above a certain age is an elder I should look up to. Sudate Morata. It's raised by them, yeah. The way he talks has definitely changed, but doesn't feel like he's putting on an act. He asked me to do whatever I could to keep things a secret, and even said it'd be for slowly sick. So treat everyone like they're uh, your uncles and aunties or grants and grannies. It's not really. I don't call everyone grandpa. Exactly. Oh, but if you keep that up, then everyone's going to be your senior. Also, I'm not taking that kind of lip from a literal Italian. And do you think saying all this is going to save them a scolding or For what? Da da da. I mean, I told you a hundred times since you were a kid, heed the three warnings. Be wary of beasts crawling around, scammers looking for the next victim. Strange people appear out of nowhere. Italy is literally an entire nation of theater kids. Go bury your head in the sand. Oh, so you do remember, and you just chose to ignore them. I always knew that living on your own was going to get you in trouble sooner or later, but getting kidnapped, that really takes the cake. You won't always be able to rely on other people coming to your rescue, you know? You're just look at we got here when we did, or we might be launching into a search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head. Sorry, Gomen Pasta. Granny, I'll be more careful next time. Next time? Oh, good one. You think it'll be our next time after this? Not a chance. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm, they didn't hurt you, did they? No, because they're allies. No, they just asked me a lot of questions about Nolan's terrain and made me draw a map of the Leyuan distribution. Though there aren't supposed to be Leyuans here anyway. Okay, now answer me honestly. Were you the one who helped the captain escape Ever's Battle of the Power Archon? Well, yeah, my cross of elimination. Oh, well, we knew that already. Yes? So why did you do it? Oh, so his two eyes match the two colors in her individual eyes. Blue and pink purple. Magenta, I guess, because... Because they said they would need my help from there on out. They also said if I refuse, they'd just come to your granny. They'd already figured out a way to make you do their bidding. Ah. Look how asymmetrical they are, too. Yeah, no ordinary granny would they really dare to come after me. And you, did the gods give your brain just for you not to use it? Did you really believe everything they said at face value and not stop to think? Thankfully, the power archon only asked that we find the mysterious individual from the Masters of the Nightwind. Didn't slap your name on a wanted poster. Don't think for a second that she doesn't know what's happening. Even if the truth that you'll see will soon manifest into reality and there is still no need to preemptively panic. Have you forgotten the words that I've taught you? Go man, I'm sorry. Hmm, forget it. You can submit the details of this camp and defeat it. The is evidence of your innocence. Let's clean this place up and get back to the city, or won't. You better remember this lesson well and seriously so reflect on your actions. Also, once we return to the city, come to the speaker's chamber with me. I'll need to explain everything. Sounds good. Should I bring some of my homegrown vegetables as well? Yes, I'll mote. And bring the veggies. Your vegetables. Yes, I grow a lot of fresh produce in my garden. I hope the pyro organ won't be too picky about the selection. Ah, oh, now's not the time to be thinking about that. If you do come face to face with the pyro organ, the first thing you should do is... Cry. Recite the three warnings. That was wild beast scammers and... Strange people who appear out of nowhere. Like the Vitui. Oh no, you should em emphasize that you were not in Kakutsu the Vitui. Some people compare it to, to a sort of quieter Ito. That's kind of true. How exactly did the Masters raise this guy? Oh, right. Oh, Rorone. Go to the Speaker's Chamber. That would be... All the way over there. I... What else is over here? Not all that much. Sappho is... Over that way, right? Yep, that was the domain. Okay. 
Time for the speaker's chamber. Let's teleport. Oh, and we already... Right there, you return to the city and talk when you the speaker's chamber, where you recount everything that has happened to Ororon. Kayopa, I see, so Ororon came to the captain's rescue, because he promised to help him in exchange for Satomali's safety. I see. Check out the description there. Oh, nice, good luck. See the descriptions. Well, that changes at all. It does. No new step description yet. Okay. That's right, I'm sorry. Now that your Oron was only trying to protect another member of his tribe, could I ask you to petition the Power Archon for spring? Oh, three, okay. Oh, did you level someone? Oh, or was it the statues? So petition the Power Archon for forgiveness. So we'll give her a full report, Kayopa. We'll let you know when she has reached a decision. Why well, need to stay here? Technically, yes, but if Miss Satoa is willing to serve as your guarantor, then we can release you from custody. Sure, I'd be happy to do that. I don't have any more time to waste here. I still have other things to do. Understood, thank you very much. Mr. Oron, please report back to the Speaker's Chamber. As soon as you receive notice of the Archon's decision. I understand, thank you, and thank you to Granny. Here, well, we still won't need to hide your face anymore. Traveler Palmon, thank you very much for your help, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my side of the deal. Once Oron is settled, I'll go talk to Shilna and get started forging an ancient name for you. Thank you, I'll be counting on you. Right, we have another thing to do. Scratch my back, I'll scratch your words, it's as good as done, you can just go troll your thumbs or something while I wait for good news, bye for now. Shamatane! See you later. Come with me, Oron, we've got to find you a place to stay for the night. Hotel? Sayonara, <laughs> Jichan. Goodbye, Gramps. This new grandson of mine is way too polite. Goodness. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. That look on his face, he's probably trying to remind me about my promise. It doesn't strike me as a liar. Had I not seen everything for myself, I'd have never guessed that he could have done so much work behind Sotomi's back. What does he really want? Phew, we're finally done. What well, it's time about some grub, huh? When there's something I need to tell you. Oh, what is a traveler? We gotta meet... The captain. Pull Palm on a side and tell, you, tell her everything that you saw earlier when you collapsed. Yeah. What, the captain? Taitsoga, keep your voice down. Sorry, Palm, I just didn't see that coming. Say so we saw him in the Night Kingdom and he didn't attack you. And that Orun, what is he up to? He sounded earnest enough just now. Palm would have never guessed anything was happening. All that stuff about protecting Tsutori and being forced to help with the Tui, he's actually been a willing accomplice all along. So I'm not completely sure we need some more information. Yeah, you're right. Sodana. So, Palmon appreciates you telling her about this. Palmon will support your choice no matter what, so if you want to go, we can go together. So, have another whole day before the meeting, so just meet with them when the time comes. And wait until 8 o'clock the next day. And. So, custody find Oron, but the situation seems complicated. Oron is hiding something. To get to the bottom of this, you agree to meet him alone. Oro alone. That's the right time. Basically, a little bit past it. Okay. Mm. Let us figure this out. And there we go. Go to the agreed location. The campsite over there. And that... Seems a little familiar, actually. Where there was... I've seen it before, but that rock... Wasn't a campsite before, I don't think. Something over there, but what is... Not a hole in the ground? I haven't really tried hard to clear, the, clear out this place yet, but that... It's a bit new to me. Is this? Oh, wait, what? 300 more entry fee. And I get a discount, it's free if I beat you, right? Oh, it's another quest. Creepy. The price is set by the Sorian Relics Association. It cannot be negotiated. As far as I know, this is already the cheapest excavation site, as it's been open the longest. Nowadays, we sometimes get dreamers like you who want to try their luck. After all, you never know. Maybe none of the hundreds and thousands of people who came before you had a good eye for treasure and missed a priceless relic that only looks ordinary. And would pay 300 more for such a beautiful dream. So how lucky you're feeling? Do you believe you'll be the one to strike it rich? 
Theodorix, Rue, Ra, Ra, Ra. My looks never let me down. I don't need that. I've got a lucky story. I like putting a walk to the test. Theodorix, Ra. You know, we may as well do this over here. You'd have to look separate, and what's 300 more anyway? Palm can handle that. Being able to buy through is a hope for that sum is kind of a steal, really. And I wish you all the best of luck. Oh, treasure and collectors. Try to look at the excavation site. Try to look at the Saurian Relics excavation site. Creepy eye. What is it? There's no time limit, so take your time. How are we going to choose here, then? I did not know this little place existed. Let's see what this is. We got this, and we can presumably blast our way through, and... Oh? I'm not doing anything here, though. Looking at that cage. Okay. Take that barrel and blow something up. Alright, and... Aim for as... That just goes with the same kind of fireball. Okay. Stuff over there. Can we can open that and get another... We'll get some crystal and... Oh, graffiti. Oh, secret source. That Tom Tom's there, too. Huh. Digging. Can blow a few of these up, presumably. And that's where we came from. Multiple spots to look over here. Hmm. Put that up. And behind there is... Not much. Hmm. So going over this way. Let's see what we can find. I we can dig that up using Shionen. Follow your soaring companion. Objective in this area. Break that. Could have done transmission. There we go. Continue exploring the excavation site. It's monitor graffiti and obviously an enemy here. Oh, it's not gonna activate yet though. Uh, okay, well, actually go up the other way just to see what might be there. Oh, so we can just climb up and over if we feel like it. We don't want to destroy that wall. Okay, now I see. Well, I guess this was just a mortar rock. Alright, fair enough. Let's blow these up. Just want to blow up the other just for fun. Interesting that Fulgisten is consumed. Just for holding it, but why can't you get some Fulgisten back after you pick it back up? And there's no way for this cave. Hmm. Let's pull that. Move that out of the way, and... Can I move that back? Oh, it moves back and forth between blocking it and not blocking it. Ah, okay, cool. Get you stuck, and then get you unstuck. That's impressive. I like that. Let me just check the talent levels, then. That... Getting his skill to 9, or even 10, is... a big part of his damage, because it's just the pure multiplier. Oh well, Monitor. Get in there. And now that we activate that, it should wake up the Secret Source of Tom Town. How it sounds like something activating. Eek, watch out behind you, yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Stand out of the way and. Shoot and shoot. Oh, goodness. We got hit. Don't like that. And another is good. Nice. There we go. Nice. Roar. Oh, we got some kind of core from it. This little ball looks kind of like a component or something. You like it? Raw, raw. If we didn't dig it up, since we did find it here, it might be something really valuable. Let's ask when we leave. Go back, back and ask creepy. Okay, so there's a chest in there. It's our way out. Maybe. Or. This links back around. Kinda. Kinda close to where we came from. It's a chest over here, and oh, that breaks that too. Interesting. Yeah, have we been here yet? Yeah, this just loops back to the start. Okay. In that case, let's let Shionet climb up. There we go. Fun fast climb. Creepy, how did it go? Theodore send this. Roar. Let me have a look. Not the most uncommon item, but still rare find. It is very well preserved with clearly visible Fulgus and full patterns. Yes, yeah, so I'd be willing to part with it if I gave you 10,000 more. What did we really find a priceless Saurian relic? Palmer just knew that Theodorx was awesome and would bring us good luck. No, this isn't nearly as precious as you seem to think. Were you to take it to Association Headquarters for appraisal, clock in at around 5,000 more at most. Palmer's not falling for that trick. If it's only worth, worth 5,000, why are you willing to pay 10,000 for it? It's because of the unique patterns on it, I'm quite taken with them. But it may not be that valuable in the eyes of others, I'm willing to pay a bit extra for it. 
Okay, so the camera angle could be adjusted. You may call me eccentric, but you can also say it's just the nature of a collector. And when you put it like that, Pama gets you, and 10,000 is quite a lot compared to the entrance fee. So she'll be traded for 10, in for 10,000. Roru, you don't seem too happy about the Theodore, because so you want to keep it for yourself. Rarar, like you were the one who found it, guess you want to be a collector too, huh? And I think that'll go in his little resting spot then. Since Theodoric doesn't want to sell, then we'll just have to keep it. Rar, looks like you value Theodoric's far more than Mora. Naturally, he's your companion after all, but if we find something similar in the future. Thank you, but a collector's passion is fickle as the tides. It rises as suddenly as it might retreat. Perhaps I'll find myself obsessing over something else in the future, though I can't yet say what my new interest will be. Rar, 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 you're agreeing with her Theodoric, so Pamon gets it. This must be the mutual respect and understanding shared by collectors. It's my honor of being acknowledged by such a brilliant and tepid thesaurus. Still, even if we can't do business, that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Feel free to come find me if you ever want to talk about collecting. I won't keep you any longer then. Good luck. Cool. It's fun. Secret source ball mechanism has been stored in the rest area. Oh, I got a notification for that. Cool. You're back. Do as you please. I don't think you'll find anything of any worth here, though, about the Soaring Relic Association. Simply here to stand guard over the excavation site. Perhaps a better way to put that might be. The only reason I'm here standing guard is so I don't have to answer questions like that. If you want to know more, the, state, the Sacred Flame would be a better starting point or find a member who's willing to tell you who they are. Before you even ask, I'm sure they'd be delighted to answer your questions. About the value of collecting, perhaps it's your purpose is simply the joy of collecting itself. Well, the most other collectors would see eye to eye with me on this, I couldn't say, but now it is a side of rows of near, neatly arranged collectibles. It fills me with nothing but sheer boredom. If you ask me, it's high time we pass this burden on to someone else who should be out there looking for something new, something exciting, something capable of actually inspiring people once again. Goodbye. Bye, then. Okay. Go actually to the campsite we were told to go to before. And we can pour ourselves to that and then shoot and get the rest of the way. Cool. And here we are. And this should be that campsite. Under this interestingly shaped rock and banner. That kind of a mortar and pestle? Well, it's a grindstone. Should I put my nose to it? Oh, wow. As in... Then what's the 150k? Is that sort of a weighted average? Or or the upper bound? Weird Paimon doesn't see anyone. Oh, please don't let this be a trap. Dot, 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 exclamation mark should be the captain. No, it's just all around for now. Eek, what's that? Three exclamation marks. Oh, okay. It's good. Good evening, nice to see you again. So you shouldn't pop up from behind people like that. What are you, a ghost? Well, kind of. Terribly sorry, it's just a force of habit. And what's with you apologizing all the time? You sound so polite and honest, but you're actually doing shady stuff behind people's backs. Like Granny tells me that, too. Oh, come to think of it, you remind me of her. Sometimes you do sound really similar, you know? Oh, so you're gonna call Pama Granny, too, now? Well, I could. What's the purpose of this meeting? Let's get straight to the point. Dot, dot, dot. Hello? You're wrong? It's all clear over to you. So he's coming now. Excellent, the fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your character. This theme's coming. I'm only interested in the intel. I don't really care how the Fatui think of me. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about you. Tartaglia told me. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown, willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. I gotta listen to everything he says. If we allow the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash. And that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid, because he probably will I've long heard of your exploits across the nations, though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times. I know that you're by no means an unreasonable person. Once you've learned the truth that the Pyrarchon Mavlika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in my heart and your heart to consider my proposal. I assume you've already been informed of the Pyrarchon's plan in order to defeat the Abyss and save that one. She still needs two more heroes to appear. Wait, how did you know that? Oh, never mind, guess it's not important now. I've long kept a close eye on her plan. To be frank, it's an exceedingly risky plan. Will the heroes really appear, and even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the Abyss back? 
So she won't turn you abyss or toss it. Abyss or toss it in a car. Will there be enough to beat the abyss? If any part of the plan goes awry, I'll not want even after that will pay for her mistakes. Now you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along, the details of which she has chosen to keep hidden from you? Kind of see a bit of his things in shadow here. What is it, a morph suit? An emergency plan? Unless it would keep not one intact, even if her original plan fails, but given the painful cost of its execution, she's chosen to keep it as a mere backup plan. Whether this stems from hesitation, fear, or even naivete, I cannot say. Can a naiva say? No one cannot afford to wait until she comes to her senses. My fear is that given the enormity of the decision, she'll be reluctant to confront the dire reality we face until it is too late. There'll be no time left to execute the backup plan, and all of Natlan will be lost in the abyss. We have to make the decision for her here and now. That's just your speculation. Immediately here. Yeah, do you have any evidence for all of this? Just telling us a bunch of scary stuff isn't enough, you know? Besides, wasn't you who tried to seize the Gnosis for the Starbates' plan? By seizing the Gnosis and making the decision for her, could he mean that the Gnosis has something to do with this backup plan? So, what is it doing for the damage then? That's good. I knew you'd be clever enough to see that's right. I did not seek to seize the Gnosis for the Starbates. Since I was defeated in battle, I must put to rest my thoughts about the Gnosis, but even so, my desire to save that one remains unchanged. Oh, wow. With Bennett or without? And now I've found a new way to solve the crisis. We can implement it immediately if we reach an agreement. Oh? Hmm. Who's coming? Someone's here. Is this a Oh, the captain disappeared. But how and how quickly? Someone's rapidly approaching. Oh, no. This is... Something bad news trumpets are... Oh my goodness. It's a totally punch. I hope they give her punches in her moveset. Apparently she's going to be Cryo Catalyst, people say. Oh, wow. So just straight. It's crazy. Oof. It's a totally punch. Totally, when did you get here? If I knew something was amiss after we were separated, in ceremonial tools, and an unconscious traveler. I must say, I'm very curious about what you're up to. How dare you go behind her backs like this Oron, colluding with a truly really. <laughs> da da da. Oh, here we go again. Cat got your tongue out. You really think you can avoid a scolding just by staying quiet. And not trying to avoid anything. Oh, well, now you're talking back. We'll go on then. Explain yourself. What the heck are you up to? Sorry, Granny, I feel so guilty. You, yeah, that's it. Where are my tools? I swear if I don't teach you a lesson right here and now, I'll... What tools? Oh, wait, it's the toy. Please calm down. We still learned a lot of info, didn't we? Like the fact that the captain isn't trying to seize the Gnosis anymore. Having a Kokoro, oh my god, yeah. So maybe just save the scolding for later, okay? Yeah, there's no place to disappoint a child. Small Oron, you're only getting out of this now because of the Traveler's plea. This isn't over, you hear me? Shokunashi? It's not like there will be no punishment. So you're right. Travel, let's go. We can discuss this more back in the city. To keep an eye on Oron for me, okay? Ikimasho? Basically, we'll get Oron. And our conversation with the captain was interrupted at in the most crucial moment, but if Orwin's still here, maybe we can still learn the rest from him. And the general and his labyrinth return to the stadium. Successfully find Orwin, but the situation seemed complicated. Orwin is hiding something. We get to the bottom of this, you agree to meet him alone. Orwin. Officially meet with the Fatui Carbinger, the captain. And it's actually just over there. Okay. Well, we can just grapple like that. That's nice. We can actually make use of these grapple points to go through faster. And, well, we went right past the point. You can hear a horn blowing. Oh, in all my years, seriously, this child 
It's a situation not perfectly clear. You've got to have your soldiers overrun. Use it. Baka Danage, so you're not an idiot. Why did you help the captain? I want the truth this time. Dot, dot, dot. Oh no, answer. I think you're being smart. Now let me ask a different question. What does the captain want? What is his purpose in that one? Da, da, da. No, you're just gonna stonewall me. Da, da, da. It's like Oron has no intention of answering her. Just use your brain for a second, who could he possibly stand to gain by helping the captain? When we end with trouble waits you and everyone in the tribe. You've always been a good kid, what would you throw all that away now? If you're worried about something, just roll well, that all the way now. Just talk to me, Granny would much rather wait a conversation instead of constantly questioning like this. Da 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 again. Oh, why is he staring at us all of a sudden? Sorry that you have to hear all this. That's oh, fine. Well, it's definitely a little awkward. We're very kind. Most people would have fled by now. Not everyone can handle Granny's scolding. Oh, nice! Were you able to stun him at all, or...? Because I tried Kinich on him, and... I took a lot of hits. Oh, you dare gossip between yourselves instead of listening to me, you... Oh, sorry, sorry, Granny. Okay, I've returned to the land of the living. See what happens if this crashes again. I hope it won't. Uh -huh. Okay. And she crashed. Back now. It just keeps happening. Imagine it's probably something to do with. I. I guess the question is, there are always supports. Supports are always the obvious option. Let's see. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Let's check something. Let's see. <laughs> Are there? Wait. Wait. Take a look in apparently. There are Twitch drops that they just didn't mention? Yeah, I'm back. That's strange. Okay, let me check something. Hmm. Trying to see. Trying to find an answer to question. Huh. Trying to find something. Looking for information because I checked and apparently. I have, you know, apparently they're doing Twitch drops for this time period, but... Oh, okay. You didn't have Xing Chao 90. Get Xing Chao to 90, please. Don't hurt yourself like that. My ears? Okay, let's just skip to what we've seen already. Pass what we've seen already. Come on. Keep going. Going through. Mm -mm. No answer, think you're being smart. What's the captain want? What is the purpose of not one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And let's get past what I have seen already. No intention of answering. Okay. And this trouble awaits you. Been a good kid. What, what do you mean by violence? What, what, what do you mean by that in this context? As in, you want someone to get mad at you for not building Xingzhou? Okay. Let's just find what we... Oh! Oh! That's fair. Well, it's just... Other than Bennett, Dia... Maybe Zhongling, maybe Emily if you have Emily. Maybe Toma, I guess? There's not anyone I can really think of who you would need to buff Kinish at this point. Not a lot of great... Options for him because of his very unique kit. 
Okay, I'm sorry, Granny. Yes, sorry, Granny. You know what? Fine, I prefer that everything I say goes in one ear and out the other. Well, grown up now, so whatever you listen to an old hag like me. You say all the right things, but then... You go and completely ignore me. Well, if that's how you're going to treat me, you can stop sending Eva over to my place to all your stupid vegetables. I don't need anything from you. Who's Eva? A delivery person? It's irrelevant. The point is, he hangs out with his kids, so it must be no good. So you kids get to a certain age and suddenly act like you know it all. There's nothing I can say to get through to you. Or Ron, if you're still thinking about so-called duty, then please just forget about it. The way ones did not follow this state because of you, and Ron closed the book on that incident. Well, it seems they started talking about some kind of tribal history. I'm not starting to get lost. Hmm, that's not it, Granny. That's absolutely wrong. Oh, there's something off about that voice. Is this telepathy? I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I've really hurt you this time. All I can say is I'm sorry. His voice, Oron, where have you gone? Or... Sort of his hypnosis voice? It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but isn't he right here in front of us? Dream Realm again, or... I'm really sorry, it's up to all of us to do everything we can to save not once, I've got to go. Ah, he created an illusion to run away from us. Get back here this instant, Orun. Oh, what is this? Powder from plant spores? Is that the trick he used? What just happened? How was he able to suddenly get so far away like that? Just confusing our senses? It's a trick of his. If he grinds spores into a powder and spray it in the air, it can be manipulated to create an illusion. Maboroshi, yeah, illusion. He pulled it off flawlessly. He must have put a lot of time into perfecting it. Don't tell me that's how he's been hunting in the fields these days. Couldn't you have picked up something more useful? Well, actually, it's pretty useful there. I... What would that do for Kimisho? That's just the pyro damage bonus and in infusion. Is it about keeping him on field after? Or? A little brand, that's it. Next time we meet, I'm definitely going to break his legs. Well... A pyro damage, but pyro damage bonus would not increase the damage of burning that anyone triggered. It's it's solely based off of elemental mastery. That's a little extreme, but still, what does he feel like he needs to run from us? If his goal is also to protect Nutland, then can't we work together? He still doesn't want to tell us anything about his goals. His goal for bones. Da, da, da. Sorry for interrupting your conversation with them earlier, but even if you've been able to hear them out, there's no guarantee you would have gained anything substantial. Oron probably did everything he could to get away because he knew I'd get the truth out of him sooner or later. That brat, I swear. Captain probably had some sort of substantial plan, otherwise Oron would have no reason to keep following him. Oh, oh, it's because you have Zhongling on the team. Right, okay, now I see. Meaning again is out of cards for now, so it might be faster to approach the Pyro Orcon and confirm what the captain said. And also, I can tell that Oron's stubbornness has hurt Satoli deeply. I need to find a way to comfort her. Was all that about Orwin's duty earlier? Oh goodness. 